Hey, Brookpark, Shiva here. I'm not really concerned, concerned on humanity as a whole. But should I be? Are we too old for existence? Are we nearing our end? In a few years from now, many households will have 3D printers. What if you or I print something threatening to our humanity? Can we eradicate humanity forever? Let's look at it this way. Dinosaurs were around for about 135 million years. So far, we've been around for 6 million years. Sign of relief? Well, lower down your hopes, folks, because human extinction might be sooner than you think. Chlorofluorocarbons. This, this word has nothing to do with this video, but it's just cool. I mean, think about it. The amount of greenhouse gas emissions we are releasing into the atmosphere is way higher compared to the dinosaurs at the time. Carbon dioxide is a greenhouse gas and we emit a lot of it. 2.4 million pounds every second. I will let you think about that for a minute. Okay, moving on. How do we know that the Earth is hotter? Well, we have proof. The Californian droughts. Other potential impacts is very saddening. In fact, so saddening that I can't even visit my holiday destination. If we continue to emit at this rate, many low-lying lands like Miami will drown. Anyway, according to the UNEP, United Nations Environment Programme, we're losing species at an incredible rate. It is estimated that every day we are losing 150 to 200 species. This is nearly 1000 times the natural rate. If we continue to go at this rate, we will have most of the species eradicated within 120 years, taking into account that there are 8.7 million species. Also, keep in mind that there are 10,000 species discovered every year. It is estimated that the sun will expand and swallow the earth in roughly 7.6 billion years. That may seem far away, but Stephen Hawking says Earth will be inhabitable by the next thousand years, taking into account the, of the probable catastrophic risk. Doomsday is coming. Speaking about doomsday, the doomsday argument points out that human extinction is in the near future rather than later. Here, let me explain. If there are 10 people on planet Earth, and let's say you're the 7th human born, the probability that you're 7th is 1 in 10 chance. Now, what is your actual birth number? Well, scientists have estimated it to be around 100 billion. That's how many humans were there before you. The doomsday argument also suggests that the number of people who will ever exist on planet Earth is 200 billion. The probability that you are born in the first 100 billion is at 50%. But if the number of humans who will ever exist turns out to be 10 trillion, the probability of you being born in the first 100 billion is only at 1%. Are you just incredibly lucky to be born on the first 1% of all humans or is your birth number expected? Because there will not be trillions of humans and human extinction will be sooner rather than later. We can never accurately know how and when humans might die. But for now, take it easy, stay cool. Thing. No, again? Okay. Sea levels will rise and will and 